It can probably be said that there are many mysteries that lie beneath the oceans and seas of the world. And as history shows us, anything that ends up lost underwater is almost impossible to find. Think of all the planes and ships that have ended up lost forever. Some of those ships carried now priceless treasures. There are also many stories about underwater cities, some below the water and lost for centuries and some right under our noses. Of course, the lost city of Atlantis is the most popular and with some new findings, we may just uncover the sunken city one day. Until then, check out these five underwater discoveries that cannot be explained. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Train Graveyard When it comes to finding sunken wrecks on the bottom of the ocean floor, searchers usually find some old ship or wreckage of some airplane lost at sea, if they're lucky. But in this case, things were a bit different. There are people who spend their lives looking for shipwrecks, and sometimes they end up finding an incredible old relic from the past, an old locomotive which was sitting at the bottom of Lake Superior and sank where it was over a decade ago. But now, people are saying, but trains don't swim, so how did it end up on the bottom of a lake? Locomotive number 694 was doing its thing and chugging along in 1910 when it smashed into some big rocks that had covered the tracks. The crash of the locomotive sent the train into Lake Superior, which took the lives of the three crewmen, with one of them trying to jump from the train before it hit the rocks on the tracks. It plunged 60 feet down the rocky slope before falling into the lake, where it sank to the bottom over a century ago. Another small team of shipwreck hunters discovered the boxcars, but they couldn't locate the locomotive. This new team of hunters returned to the same coordinates that the previous team had and ended up finding the locomotive hiding 230 feet below the surface in an underwater field of boulders. The train was so damaged and destroyed by the crash that ideas of dredging it up and putting it on display were quickly abandoned. The crash must have been terrible, and investigators of the wreckage say the locomotive hit the rock slide, forcing the pilot to fold under the pilot truck, which lifted the nose of the locomotive as it went up the rock slide and rolled over onto the lake. But right before this happened, when the locomotive suddenly decelerated and was moving upward, the tender slammed into the cab, which demolished it. The tender then plunged into the lake and pulled several boxcars with it. Footage of the locomotive shows the wreckage is well preserved, showing the train hit the nose first as it slid down the underwater rocky slope until it came to a rest. Number 4. Rivers and Deep Sea Lakes it might be a hard thing to imagine that such things like underwater lakes and rivers exist together. It's a little hard to wrap your mind around how one body of water can exist inside of another, but the phenomena are real. In Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, there's a place called Cinote Angelito, which is translated to Little Angel. It's a water-filled cave which has a big surprise, which is a spooky underwater river flowing right through the ocean. For those who are wondering how this is possible, it happens when limestone bedrock collapses, which sinks and forms a pit. This pit acts as a reservoir, which fills with a mixture of fresh groundwater and salt water. After a while, organic matter ends up in the trench. When this matter decomposes, a cloud of hydrogen sulfide forms, which separates the fresh water on the top from the salt water below it. Footage of the river is almost unreal and looks like a scene from a dark forest and only the scuba diver and the air bubbles give away the fact that the whole thing is underwater. Divers can swim through this cloud and under it, the ghostly bare limb trees line the bank of this underwater river. There's another lake which sits at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, 3,300 feet below the surface. It's called a brine pool and is like an underwater crater which is basically a pit of super salty water and dissolved methane that is highly toxic. Video footage of the crater is spooky. These brine pools are encased in mineral dams from the high concentrations in the salt water. The underwater lakes formed over millions of years as some of the shallower Gulf of Mexico evaporated. This left behind massive beds of salt, and over time these layers became submerged. The salt layers shift, cracking the shale above which allows oil, gas, and brine to escape. The inside of this pool doesn't easily mix with the seawater around it. It then pools in underwater lakes, rivers, and even spectacular waterfalls. 
anything that ventures into this pool will never return. The shells of crabs who got too close to the edge and fell in can be seen all around the crater. A large number of mussels living on the outside of the crater survive because of the symbiotic relationship they have with bacteria. These bacteria live on their gills and use dissolved methane gas and hydrogen sulfide which seeps from the ocean floor and provides energy for the shellfish. Number 3. Ancient Underwater City it's been called China's mysterious underwater city, and beneath a lake somewhere lies a time capsule of Imperial China, and it's said that the water's hiding perfectly preserved temples which date back thousands of years. In the depths of Qiandao Lake in China, the eerie but beautiful sunken city. Video footage captured of the incredible sunken city, which is hidden in the depths of the lake, showed that the city is still in remarkable condition for being submerged underwater for nearly six decades. Divers found a jaw-dropping labyrinth that included highly adorned temples, grand memorial arches, and dragon carvings are intricately carved on the city structures. The city was named Lion City and was built more than 1,000 years ago. It got its name from the Five Lion Mountain under which the city stood. The city has an impressive reputation and a rich history. The city remains underwater and undisturbed at a depth of 130 feet below the surface. The old city's given archaeologists a glimpse of what life was like in ancient China. Much of the intricate stone carvings, including the guardian lions, are scattered around the city and still perfectly intact and looked as they were when the city was submerged below the water. The place has now become a tourist attraction for divers, and dive operators organize trips through the mysterious ghost city underwater. A special submarine was built so that it could take people on a tour of the underwater city. However, the sub hasn't been used yet for fear it will damage the city. So if you want to see it, you need to put on your scuba gear. While looking at the photos, you might think it's one of the most beautiful sights to see. The question remains though, why did the Chinese government decide to flood the town to build a reservoir? In fact, it wasn't only Lion City that ended up underwater, but also 27 towns, 1,380 villages, and 50,000 acres of farmland were sacrificed to build a hydroelectric plant. The move displaced almost 300,000 Chinese citizens in 1959 when the decision was made to flood the area. Number 2. The Bimini Road when it comes to ancient underwater cities, nothing is more well-known and famous as the lost city of Atlantis. And according to old Greek legend, the city of Atlantis ended up sinking into the ocean in just a single day, which wiped its existence off the face of the earth completely around 11,000 years ago. Since then, many people, including scientists, treasure hunters, and philosophers, have searched in vain to try and find a trace of this lost world. In this day and age, anything that's found during an ocean dive that resembles a man-made structure causes serious waves of media attention. It was back in 1968 when a diver off the coast of North Bimini Islands in the Bahamas discovered a series of stones which were 18 feet below the surface. These stones appeared to be man-made and were evenly spaced out in a line, and it appeared the structure was simply a road which stretched a half a mile long. Many people thought that these stones were probably the portion of a wall or some road which was part of a much larger city. Everyone hoped that this discovery would, of course, lead to Atlantis and that the city might finally be found. Two more discoveries were made and the excitement of finding the lost city mounted. Many archaeologists, geologists, researchers, and scientists have visited these huge flat stones to try and learn if they are indeed evidence of an ancient and lost civilization. There are some that say the limestone blocks are nothing more than a natural phenomenon. However, when looking at the large, flat rocks, they seem to have been purposefully cut and set in straight lines. It might be easy to conclude that it's a natural formation if it wasn't for the fact that the road stretches a mile long with a pronounced hook on one end. Each one of the stones measures 13 feet across. The origin of these stones and how they were formed is still a mystery. Number 1. Pyramid-Shaped Structure a Portuguese news outlet reported in 2014 that a large underwater pyramid had been discovered between the islands of São Miguel and Terceira in the Azores of Portugal. The man who found it, Diocleciano Silva, claims that the structure is perfectly squared and oriented using cardinal points. 
Using GPS, current estimates say that the pyramid is 200 feet tall and the base of the pyramid is 8,000 square meters. Found in the mid-Atlantic, the pyramid lies in an area that's been underwater for at least 20,000 years. This was around the last ice age where glaciers were melting from their peaks 2,000 years prior. It's not known who or what civilization was responsible for building the pyramid. The Portuguese Navy has not determined the origins of the structure. Some archaeologists have recently discovered evidence on Pico Island, which points to the existence of humans in the Azores region before the arrival of the Portuguese thousands of years before. Some say that the discovery is simply a volcano because the area it's in is comprised of nine volcanoes islands. The NOAA, which studies volcanic activity in the area, has not found this structure, or if they have, they aren't telling anyone what the mysterious object is. However, other experts say that this would have been the perfect place to build a pyramid based on energetic qualities which are often associated with the structures. Silva says that the pyramid is perfect and its vertices are precisely oriented to north-south just like the Great Pyramids of Giza. Regardless of what the structure is, the Portuguese government has been now trying to cover up the finding and say it's nothing more than an underwater volcano. Many wonder if this could be the remnants of an old ancient civilization, or perhaps it's it's the effects of an ice age glaciation. If an ancient civilization did build the structure, it would be interesting to find out more and see what's inside of the pyramid. But the cover up of the area with the explanation that it's a natural formation keeps anyone from knowing the real truth. Hope you enjoyed the video, top fivers. If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. There'll be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.